I can't. Uh, <clears throat> right away, when her young daughter, she entered, and she is 17 years old. Her mother, she started stepping her in her back more than 100 times. For sure, she is dead already. But this is how much hate they have for Christians. So she killed her daughter. She slaughtered her, thinking that her daughter, she became a Christian. The fact her daughter, she is not a Christian. She saw that the daughter, she is hiding a Bible under her pillow. Imagine what kind of people they are. That is the truth. You know, she didn't ask her. She didn't ask her any question, you know. She just found the Bible under the pillow. And right away, she made a decision. We have to, I have to kill her. You know, that's it. But this is showing you how ugly, disgusting this religion is. Because this is your daughter. And I'm sure she loved her very much. But their hate overcome their love. When you are a Muslim, your hate overcome your love to the most, even if the person you are you are going to hurt is the most close person to you. Her daughter, what do you want more than her daughter? And she killed her, not only she killed her, imagine how ugly her death. She stabbed her more than 100 times in her back. The girl is already in the floor, she's dead. Don't you see the videos of the Saudi who slaughtered their parents? They slaughtered their parents. Many of them, not only one, one story, there's many stories. Why they slaughtered their parents? Because their parents, they said, wouldn't agree that you should go and do jihad. For them, this is against Islam. Parents, they should not stop a Muslim from doing jihad. The parents, they love their kids. They are worried about them. If they go, they will be killed. That's it. They are Muslims. Just because they oppose them to go, they slaughter them. And they imagine one of the stories, the mother is 73 years old woman. How dare you, you idiot filthy, regardless if she is your mother or not. How somebody want to kill a 73 years old woman? What kind of a brain they have? Hello guys, for everybody say hello. Sorry if I did not say hi. You know, not, not all the time I look at the screen. I try to avoid looking at the screen most of the time because staying long in front of the computer hurt my eyes. So I avoid it as much as I can. Uh, so this is how it is. And yet you will find some Christians, they say to you that uh, some Muslims, they hijack Islam and some Muslims, they have wrong interpretation of Islam. This is false. You see, to, to, uh, to believe in such a lie, that some Muslims have wrong interpretation of Islam, as James White, as an example. James White. James White, he says, whoever says uh, ISIS is Islam as a whole, he is lying. Do, you know, people like James White, they are more dangerous than Muslim person doing doing the missionary to convert your son. Because James White is a Christian supposedly and you Christians trust what he's saying. So he can get inside your house and fool your kids easy. Imagine how many how many poor Christian, naive Christian, they believe and they trust James White. Oh James White he you know he debate Muslims about the Bible James White, if you think we're chanting, is that true? No, it's not true. You don't. This is why Muslims, they never speak in an aggressive way against him. Never. Why? Because he is no threat to Islam. He is doing the opposite. Go and see what Muslims they say about me, and see what Muslims they say about James White. You will, you will notice right away the difference. If he defend the Christianity and I defend Christianity, so why Muslims, they love him and they hate me? It doesn't make sense. Right? No, 
no, it's not should know better. He is a hypocrite man. No, trust me, he knows. Trust me, he knows. This guy, okay, you see, in, in this world today, if you want to do a good marketing for your business, if you are doing business, you have to make everybody happy. This way, there is no risk. James White is not afraid to be shot dead for attacking Islam because he never attacked Islam. You got the idea? He plays safe. For he is a hypocrite. I don't believe really that James White do not know how ugly and disgusting Islam is. When James White he say that ISIS is not Islam, that means Muhammad is not ISIS, and Muhammad did not do what ISIS did, and ISIS are not doing what Muhammad did, and this is a big fat lie. It's a very simple logic. And I'm sure he knows that he's, he's not telling the truth. But he's a businessman. If you look at the library behind him, you know, this guy here received a lot of donation. If I want to buy the books he is having in his library from donation, I need donation for the coming 10 years compared to what, what I received. All those books, he buy expensive books translated about Islam. Like once in one of his videos, he's showing the book of Ibn uh, Ishaq. I looked for the book, it was really expensive in the internet. Now for me, I will never buy it because this is in English. You know, Muslim translation for any book will not be truthful. Why I want to buy a book in English if I can read the original language, right? Christians has been living peacefully with Muslims. Which country? Name, name one country for me. Freak. Fake. Fake reality. Which country, the Christians, they were living peacefully with Muslims? What do you know about me? I'm asking you, which country? That's not true. Christians, they never live in peace in Iraq. They live subdued. They live subdued. What, what, what does it mean to be subdued? It means you are no one. Now, in the time of Saddam Hussein, Saddam Hussein, he tried to present himself that he is, let us say, a fair, a fair, let's say, fair leader. So he hired some Christians to be in his cabinet. But still, they are no one. They are no one. Christians still there. You know, those are the people who own the country. Where are they? They are demolished. How many Christians live in Iraq? Where are they? If they live in peace, how the majority disappear? All those countries, the Christians, they are the majority. What happened to them? Because of humiliation. Because, you know, in the year 1860, they killed more than, more than a million Christians in Syria alone. And two millions, they are Armenians from Armenia, and many of them, they left and they flee their country. And more than 600,000 Assyrian Christians and the war never stopped against the Christians. As an example, the war in Lebanon from 1973 until until uh, almost 19... Yes, we continue.